calorimetry when heat energy is supplied to substances physical changes take place in them solid form of water that is ice is changed to liquid form and liquid form of water is changed to gaseous form these are all the physical changes due to heat energy similarly heat energy produces chemical changes also to know more about the physical and chemical changes that take place in the substances we need to measure the amount of heat involved the technique used to measure the amount of heat involved in a physical or chemical process is known as calorimetry temperature temperature is a physical quantity which expresses whether an object is hot or cold it's measured with the help of thermometer there are three scales to measure the temperature they are celsius scale fahrenheit scale and kelvin scale among these three scales kelvin scale is the most commonly used one unit of heat we know that heat is the form of energy the unit of energy in ac system is joule so heat is also measured in joule it's expressed by the symbol j the most commonly used unit of heat is calorie one calorie is the amount of heat energy required to raise the temperature of 1 gram of water through 1 degree celsius one calorie is equal to 4.186 joule heat capacity in general the amount of heat energy gained or lost by a substance is determined by three factors they are mass of the substance change in the temperature of the substance nature of the material of the substance different substances require different amount of heat energy to reach a particular temperature this nature is known as heat capacity of a substance heat capacity is defined as the amount of heat energy required by a substance to raise its temperature by 1 degree celsius or 1 kelvin it's denoted by the symbol c dash the heat capacity is equal to the amount of heat energy required q divided by raising temperature delta t therefore c dash that is heat capacity is equal to q by delta t the unit of heat capacity is calorie by degree celsius in si system it's measured in joule kelvin power minus 1 specific heat capacity when the heat capacity of a substance is expressed for unit mass it's called specific heat capacity specific heat capacity of a substance is defined as the amount of heat energy required to raise the temperature of 1 kg of substance by 1 degree celsius or 1 kelvin it's denoted by the symbol c specific heat capacity is equal to the amount of heat energy required q divided by mass into raise in temperature delta t therefore c is equal to q by m into delta t the si unit of specific heat capacity is joule kilogram power minus 1 kelvin power minus 1 calorimeter A calorimeter is a device used to measure the amount of heat gained or lost by a substance. It consists of a vessel made up of metals like copper or aluminium, which are good conductors of heat and electricity. The metallic vessel is kept in an insulating jacket to prevent heat loss to the environment. There are two holes in it. Through one hole, a thermometer is inserted to measure the temperature of the contents. A stirrer is inserted through another hole for stirring the content in the vessel. The vessel is filled with liquid which is heated by passing current through the heating element. Using this device, we can measure the heat capacity of the liquid in the container. Thermostat. A thermostat is a device which maintains the temperature of a place or an object constant. The word thermostat is derived from two Greek words. thermo meaning heat and static meaning staying the same thermostats are used in any device or system that gets heated or cools down to a preset temperature it turns an appliance or a circuit on or off when a particular temperature is reached devices which use thermostat include 
building heater, central heater in a room, air conditioner, water heater, as well as kitchen equipments including oven and refrigerators. Sometimes a thermostat functions both as the sensor and the controller of a thermal system. Thermos flask or vacuum flask A thermos flask or vacuum flask is an insulating storage vessel that keeps its content hotter or cooler than the surroundings for a longer time. It is primarily meant to enhance the storage period of a liquid by maintaining a uniform temperature and avoiding possibilities of getting a bad taste. A thermos flask has double walls which are evacuated. It is silvered on the inside. The vacuum between two walls prevents heat being transferred from the inside to the outside by conduction or convection. With very little air between the walls, there is almost no transfer of heat from the inner wall to the outer wall or vice versa. Conduction can only occur at the points where two walls meet at the top of the bottle and through an insulated support at the bottom. The silvered walls reflect the radiated heat back to the liquid in the bottle. 